Hi everybody, it's Kiara. Um, this is gonna be um, a 2024 quilt plan for part one. Part one is, let me introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kiara. I am a New Yorker living in Arkansas. My husband retired from the NYPD and we moved south to Arkansas where we had some family that would be able to help us with our disabled son as he was getting older um, and live a much more quiet life after living in New York City all our lives. So, a little bit about me. <clears throat> this is a craft channel. I do all sorts of crafts, um, but primarily I keep my um, quilting and cross stitch and sometimes I'll throw my sublimation and other things I'm doing. But today we're gonna talk about quilting. And our part one are, is going to be of some quilts that I have done that I started a long time ago um, and that need to be finished. So these are quilts that need to be quilted. I have a handy quilter, Moxie, totally hand driven by me. And I'd like to give it a little bit more proficient. I've got, I do a mean meander and a loopy meander and I can do stars in my meander. But I'd like to try a couple other things throughout the year. <clears throat> But I want to be more proficient and just be comfortable in what I'm doing with it. So I have a bunch of, I have an entire tote. Um, how big is this tote? It is a 19 gallon tote. And it was full with backing and quilt tops that were finished. For the most part, there is one that needs borders, but it's in there. Um, so I had been finishing stuff and this, my goal is to get this stuff quilted. So I'm going to go through, I picked, I had picked seven that are going to be the first things that I get quilted and if, along with some other stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, that I might finish throughout the year. So we'll start with the first one and I'm hoping this backing will fit it, but I think I actually even have another piece of it. And I'll show you the backings if I have them. Some of them might have I need backings. This first one is a heart quilt, and I believe it's called, let's see. I actually have my quilt journal here, and this is should be in it in the first one I did. Uh, going on. These are one from it's charming Christmas. That one's actually done. Sangry. And it's right back here. It's called Patrick Hart, and the pattern's from Just a Bit Frayed. I believe it was um, a free pattern. Um, so the fabric's all different. I believe it's all different Lori Holt. This is it. It measures 40 by 40, um, and I did this, okay, I did this in February of 2021. It went to bed, went together really quick because it says I did this in two days. Um, so, um, it says I need two and a half yards of backing, but that might be regular backing. So, I'll see if this one will fit. If not, I will find a backing and do it. I do have like a gray backing I could probably use. So, that's number one. And I'd like to do that in January because I would like to display it in February. So the number two one I have is called Mini Muffins Shamrock. And this was a pattern from Fat Quarter Shop that Pat Sloan <coughs> adapted to make shamrocks. So this is 34 and a half by 34 and a half. And my goal is to get this done so I can display it for St. Patrick's Day. Now I started this in February of 2021, I finished piecing it in February of 2023. Because my goal for 2023 was to finish a lot of things. Now, I didn't finish as much as I wanted to, but I did finish things that I had had and wanted done. Okay, so that is number two. That needs a backing. I have a piece of backing from a Christmas quilt that's green that probably will go on that. So hopefully I won't have to buy anything for that. The next one is a biggie. And I just finished this fairly recently. Let's see, it's in this book, I believe, too. 
It's another one I believe I started in 2021. Yes, I started this in January of 2021 and it ended in June and I finished it just recently because I was watching the Take Care of Maya trial at night and it's a biggie. Let me see. I was watching the Take Care of Maya trial and this one is going to be for me. Um, I learned a lot doing this. Um, I don't have a backing, but I think, I, I will show you what I think I'm going to use because I have a lot, it's, it's a wide back. I try to use wide backs when I can because I really don't like piecing backings. So. That's this one. And I actually cleared off a shelf um, on my cube system that I have next to my Moxie. So what I think I'm gonna use for backing is I believe if I have three or four yards of, this is Harmony White with Gray from Pat Sloan. So I think I'm gonna do that on there. So that's number three. The next one I have that I wanna finish that I have a back for something else that I started back in 2020 and this was July of 2021 and it was called Summer Soiree and I used Sunny Stroll by um, Bonnie and Camille and I actually bought this specific backing this is um, the Harmony line again but this is Coral I actually like this backing a lot um, from Pat Sloan she has a couple other ones that I think I'm gonna get, but wide backs are expensive. So let me show you this one. This is another Pat Sloan quilt, and I really wanna get this one quilted so I can have it all spring and summer. You'll notice I have a trend in my quilting. These are big blocks. But, and these are all Pat Sloan's patterns and I just love this fabric. And this is one of my first times starching a quilt as I was going, and it made such a difference. Okay, so this started in July of 2021, and it went through September of 2021, but I finished piecing mine in January of 2022. So my goal is to get this baby quilted in 2024. I'm good. My goal is to try to get one or two things quilted for me a month. I also want to try to do a handmade Christmas next year. And this one's actually in a bag because I actually have the binding here too. Okay, because the binding is a gingham. And then these next two, next three, I don't, oh no, this one I do have a back and forth. This is a Villa Rosa pattern that I altered to make it a little bit, and this is kitty corn fabric. I don't remember who made the kitty corn fabric. Oh, wait, hold on. I might have hurt. Okay, this was a Villa Rosa pattern called Winter Garden. I altered it slightly because I think I made it a little bit longer and wider. Oh no, maybe I just put a border on it. Or I added an extra row or something. Okay. Binding. I have the binding on this, it says somewhere. How about that? So this was called. Ah. I lost it, guys. Winter Garden. Um, I did this in a two week period back in 2021. And she needs to be quilted. It goes this way. It was a, oh, I, you know what it is? I used, um, this was a Jolly, not Jolly Bar, Jelly Roll. I used a Jelly Roll to do this. And then I only bought this yardage. So, I know what I did. Um, I added an extra row of this, of the blocks. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Villa Rosa Designs patterns are great 
for um, beginners. And this one I did not starch at all because it was just it was jelly rolls. Okay. So, like I said, this part is all quilts. I want to quilt on Miss Moxie. Oh, and this is um, I this is I think I believe I bought this from Keepsakes. They did three yard backpacks. They're called. And this is 108 and it's got pumpkins on it. So that's gonna be the backing for this. And I, I actually put the backings in this and then I put everything on my shelf together. And I kind of put them on my shelf in the order I wanna do them. Now, my last two don't have backings. I have to figure it out what I wanna do. This is a library quilt and I believe I did this last year. It's a, it's a Pat Sloan free pattern. Let's see. It's a pet song. It's called Love Your Library. And no, this was not a free pattern. I take it back. This was in her book. Oh, let's see. Maybe it was this book. I'm going to just check. Yes. It's in... This holiday hoopla book. I don't know if this is out of print or not because this is a Martingale book. And I don't think that this is, but you might still be able to find this one. Okay. And it has lots of cute patterns in it. 69. Oh, went by. Now. I'm just going to show you a picture of hers. Okay. It's called Love Your Library. And this is the one in the book. Okay. Um, and mine has a theme. And I made mine. And I really want to get this done because I want to hang this in my quilt room. And mine is all character themed. Okay. For the most part, it's Disney. But I did um, put some of my Harry Potter fabric. so you can see so I want to get this quilted um, and I just need to get a backing but for this I might even piece the back see what I have see if I have something in the brown family and it's funny because some of this fabric is fabric from when I used to make clothes so it's really fun and I fussy cut the fabric for it. So it was, a, it was, this was a lot of fun. And I might make another one someday, library quilt, cool, because I have so many ideas now. Now the last one is another, the, Pat Sloan does um, free pattern, a block a day every March. I don't think it's this one. Cause I think this book started in, we'll check. Cause I think this book started in 2023. Yeah, I started that book in 2023. So that's not the right book. Some of these, it's like I, I went through last year and no, it's not that one. It's, I think this is the 2022 quilt. Sweet dreams, stronger together, heartfelt oh, march. Oh, maybe I didn't put it in here. Okay, I don't think I put it in here, but this was the march. I believe this was called the string bean block and I did mine I wonder hold on maybe just want to check it was the string bean block yeah because the one I have for 2021 says it was various fabric collections and this is one fabric collection. This is, um, I don't know. It's a Minikin Simpson. I don't know which collection it is. It's not, I don't think it's Bella. I think it's the one before. And this one will be for me. 
because it's red, white, and blue. And if you know, I keep all my red, white, and blue clothes. I love red, white, and blue. They're my, red and blue are my favorite colors, but I love this one. She's a big girl. Um, so she's my last one, and I think I'm going to try to find a dark blue background or a country blue color. I don't know, I have to see, maybe see if they even have a wide back, probably not, but I'm sure I could find something that goes. For me, it's just easier to use a wide back and load it onto the long arm. And I think I'm gonna do a scrappy binding on this because I have a lot of pieces of this left. So those are the seven quilts that I have in the pile so far. Ideally, I should try to do one a month and I have other quilts that I need to finish. Um, over there, I have my chicken salad quilt that I wanna finish and that's another one for me. But I also said I wanna do a handmade Christmas, so I have to see. Because I, I, my next thing is to go through and see what quilts I have in progress that I want to follow up on and finish. I have a couple wool hangings. I have a couple big projects I started. And of course I want to start something new. So my next thing is to make a list of what is in progress that I want to do. And I have, like I have sitting over here, I have all the blocks for Among the Stars for the Halloween one. It was a block of the month and I have them all in a thing and I want to do that. I have a, a Pat Sloan All My Stars Halloween all cut out. I have a couple panel quilts that have been sitting here that I desperately want to do. Um, and some of them may find their way into giveaways um, to being sold or leaving my house or some may be a gift. If you see something and you tell me that you like it, it may wind up being gifted. So that's where I am. So this is what I want to quilt. These are my primary to be quilted. Um, so, cause to me quilting just relaxed me. I love to cross stitch and cross stitch I can do with, in the other room with my family, but sometimes I just need to come in here and decompress. So I love to quilt for that. Cause that's how I used to scrapbook. Um, <clears throat> so that's where I am and I have to go see what I have to do and I want to see I'm gonna probably pull my projects today and have another chat with you or make a list of what's in progress um, I do have one project that I want to try to get done before the end of the year it is this one and I only have to do two more blocks so I was making mine a wolf hanging and it will match the last quilt I showed you See, do I have a picture of the it's this it's feeling crabby from Wendy Shepherd and all I am doing is a set of four crabs so I'm getting there on that one and then I have a couple other ones that are in progress so I'm gonna go through and plus I have a lot of quilt kits that are packaged and or patterns that are in project boxes and I need to go through and figure it out but like this morning I found this pattern sitting somewhere it is for either 14 fat quarters or 42 10 inch squares and it makes a quilt 54 by 63 and I just love this and I have a couple of um, 10 inch square layer cakes and I think I want to make this and this will go together I think I want to cut it out and just like have it as something to sew so that's 20 minutes of my part one of my quilts I want to quilt um and my plans for 2024 so I will see you soon as I as soon as I get my projects together and we'll discuss those have a great day bye bye